The city of Nanaimo is enacting a strict new policy at local arenas. There is zero tolerance for any alcohol in any locker room and no more beer sales by teams or tournament organizers. All alcohol must now go through the concession and the profits go there too. Beer league and amateur tournament organizers say that new policy might put their events on ice for good. And the CTV's Jet Bassey shows us they're depending on alcohol sales to break even. For many, it's the ultimate celebration after a victory. Liquor in the locker room. I do miss having a beer. It's usually good after a game. It goes down easy. The Nanaimo hockey players won't be having cold ones after today's skate. The city has a strict zero tolerance stance on booze in the dressing rooms. But this past March, the city of Nanaimo received uh, infraction from our local liquor inspector. The city was fined and prohibited from serving alcohol at four events. Nanaimo has contracted a third party to sell alcohol at concessions, adhering to strict regulations. Uh, it's our responsibility as the owners of the liquor license to ensure that we provide a safe um, and regulated service of alcohol in our building. For decades, Miles Parsons has been organizing hockey tournaments and for just as long, players have unwound with a cold one in the locker room after their game. This year, his old Knights Hockey Club's annual tournament may be getting a game misconduct if they play at all. I mean, this are, would, would have been our fifth year. Um, it doesn't look good for the tournament. Parsons needs to sell beer at the arena to recover costs for the event. In previous years, he's always been allowed to. He wants the city to suspend the concessions liquor license during his tournament so his taps can flow instead. The beer sales take care of it all. The arena says law comes first and the user groups must find another way to raise money. It is important that we have that ability to have control over um, how the alcohol is being served. The Nanaimo coal diggers have cancelled their tournament. Miles says his event could be the next Next one to get the hook. We don't have any other options. Big competitions attract out-of-town teams. More than 100 players during the major tournaments. Many bring their families. Parsons says the city will miss out on big money if more events get benched. There's hotel rooms, uh, restaurants, ferries, lounges, beer parlors or, or uh, bars. I would only assume there's a lot of money going to be missed. The city said it's willing to sit down with the groups and try to find a solution. One that would continue the play and the flow of beer safely and legally. Deciding on who gets to keep the profit from that beer could send those meetings into overtime. Jeff Bassi, CTV News, Nanaimo.